Hi guys, this is Mike at tabletbuy.com and we're going to take a quick look today at the Asus iPad Transformer running the latest Android version which is Android 3.1. First of all, let's verify that we have 3.1 indeed in here. Let's go to settings and about tablet and you can see here we have Android version 3.1 installed. Okay. Okay. So this one brings a couple of uh, changes uh, to the uh, uh, Asus iPad transformer and actually to all uh, uh, Tegra 2 power devices. First of all, there are some uh, performance uh, improvements. Uh, I believe uh, Google and Nvidia worked on some improved drivers for, for Tegra 2 devices uh, running Android 3.1 and overall experience a little bit snappier. You won't really notice this while moving between panels but you will notice for instance when logging in you can see that this circle here moves a little bit uh, more fluently right now than it uh, used to move before and when surfing between apps everything is now faster and nav uh, navigating uh, between uh, menus you can see that everything actually runs faster now so this uh, helps improve uh, your everyday experience besides this I'm also going to show you on YouTube that you can now run uh, high quality clips better uh, they're actually going to work uh, quite nicely before when I tested the Nvidia the uh, Asus iPad transformer I had some problem running such types of content right now press play we have uh, Tron Legacy 1080p trailer and you can see that it's actually running flawlessly here so this is quite nice and I've tried a couple of other clips let's go back here and let's search for 1080p you can see it takes it a bit of time to load and let's open this one the Dark Knight HD trailer let's see what's going on still I, I hate that you have to press this particular small button so you can go full screen on YouTube something uh, there would have been some other better options like the one used on the iPad with just pinch and zoom still what I wanted to see here is that you can now uh, zoom in and scroll between and scroll inside the clip faster it actually moves way better okay so this was uh, this were the performance uh, improvements and they were they are quite welcome there are also some layout improvements you will see first of all for instance if we are in this particular page uh, let's go ahead and open one application you're going to press home the home button it will take you to that uh, that particular home screen it won't take you to this first uh, uh, home screen like it did before then you now get to scroll between a bunch of different tabs Scrolling is not that smooth, but quite usable and you can scroll between like 18 or 16 different apps before you could only see the last six running apps And this is quite a nice uh, a nice upgrade as well Okay Besides that you can now add a bunch of different widgets on your home page and you can of course you can select them like before and you have a bunch of different uh, uh, new widgets from Asus like the Asus MyZines and all the other things and let's add for instance calendar it, you can move it you can add it like this and move it like you did before just by pressing uh, and keep keep it pressed for a bit and then moving around but you can now also scroll it you can see by holding it for longer you can now scroll a particular widget it doesn't work with all widgets it works just with a couple of them some from Asus and some from Google and you can now adjust uh, the size of this uh, widget just the way you want some only uh, work uh, in one direct with one direction scrolling for instance this one with bookmarks you can only scroll it horizontally but others like you saw can be scrolled differently and I particularly like because I can make this bigger uh, email area so I can see all the new emails directly without having to go to the dedicated email application so this is quite nice okay what else there are a couple of new applications and 
the camp pre-installed first of all you have Kindle by default and then you have this one it's called Zinio Reader I haven't got a, an account yet so I can't really show you what's this about uh, but the uh, bottom point is that it offers subscription to a bunch of different uh, magazines and you have to pay for some and uh, some of them are free and you can uh, get a lot of uh, types of content on your uh, on your uh, Asus iPad transformer. Not sure if Zinio works on other tablets, but definitely works on this one. You also have Movie Studio, which is just some kind of uh, quick uh, video editing software. For instance, this is my uh, a quick video I shot with the with the transformer um, in my room, and uh, you can see that I I can easily work or here I can add uh, an audio track and I can then export the movie in a couple of different formats and a couple of different quality types and I can then upload it easily on YouTube or something like this so it's a pretty decent application this one actually runs quite nice and there are a bunch of other small applica uh, application changes for every little uh, app here for instance, on browser, it's uh, theoretically a little bit faster than it was before. It's not incredibly fast, but it's a little bit faster. And uh, should uh, zoom in and zoom out and allow you to navigate between panels a little bit faster as well. You also have this particular bar here, which helps you scroll. Sorry for that. Uh, this particular bar here on the side which helps you scroll on longer pages. For instance, I've opened Engadget, and this is a kind of long page. You can see that the page flickers a lot when actually scrolling because it, uh, the software redraws each, uh, each of this uh, page. But um, things actually look uh, quite decently. Of course, you can you get a little bit faster now, pinch to zoom. It's not uh, as fast as it is on, on the iPad still, because the technology is different, to, but it's still workable. And you also have this particular, okay, let's go on our blog on Tablet Byte and open one of these posts, not really sure why, oh, which one, this one, let's see how fast it's going to load it, okay, here it is, and we're now going to save the page, you have this option here, save the page, it's going to save it, have it here, and you can then um, uh, get it, uh, launch it from your uh, device, and let's go back to open Astro, I'm going to find all the saved files in uh, SD card um, downloads, and we have here a bunch of the pages we already saved, and if you're going to should, theoretically you should press them from here and open. they should open automatically in uh, in your browser but this is not really working right now, I'm not really sure what's, why not. So, OS still has a bunch of bugs and sometimes it crashes and sometimes apps are not working properly like you saw here. But definitely uh, experience a little bit better now. Also on library there are a couple of changes, for instance you uh, you now have access to this bookstore and you can get a bunch of different types of content you have newspapers for instance here Washington Post USA Today and you have a bunch of books as well different types of books and even bestsellers like you can see for instance Game of Thrones very nice there's the HBO series right now made this book even more popular than it was you have here a quick synopsis and you can buy it you can press uh, on the price and you have to log in here in order to buy it I believe it works with the Texter account not really sure but this is quite nice and of course if you're living in the US you have uh, Android movies right now and the Android music beta uh, services for renting uh, video content and uh, audio content as well okay so basically these are uh, all the changes, so pretty much all the changes, uh, important changes on the uh, Android 3.1 and uh, they make uh, overall the Asus, uh, Asus iPad Transformer uh, more uh, 
a better tablet I can't say it's uh, way faster but it is a little bit faster and uh, the OS seems a little bit more reliable than it was uh, before so this is definitely an improvement and something you you should uh, get on your device uh, because uh, the update is free and uh, I definitely recommend to, to install this on uh, every, any uh, Tegra 2 tablets Okay, that was it for now. Uh, for more details about the SUC pad transformer, you should go on the site on tabletbuy.com. Uh, we're also going to find a bunch of different uh, materials about uh, pretty much all the tablets available these days. So uh, you should go ahead and, and check the, the, the site uh, uh, for more information. Thank you. That was Mike uh, with the SUC pad transformer running Android 3.1.